Welcome to Eek a Little Beavers. Hello parents and guardians, welcome back to Eek a Little Beavers. Today we're tackling a topic that many of us face but often find difficult to talk about. Why do our little ones sometimes turn into mini hogs? Showing aggression in ways that leave us baffled and, let's be honest, sometimes a bit stressed. Whether it's tantrums, hitting or shouting, understanding the why behind these actions is crucial. It's not just about managing the behaviour, it's about understanding their world. In this episode, we delve deep into the roots of childhood aggression. We're here to explore the various factors from emotional development to environmental influences that contribute to these challenging behaviours. So whether you're dealing with a toddler's tantrums or a school-aged child's outbursts, this video is packed with insights, expert advice, and real-life tips to help you navigate these turbulent waters. Ready to uncover the mysteries? But first... Don't forget to hit that like button and ring the bell for more videos on parental content. Now let's get into it. Navigating a child's aggressive behaviour can be one of the most challenging aspects of parenting. From hitting and shouting to more subtle forms of defiance, understanding the roots of such behaviours is key to effective management. This expanded guide aims to explore the multifaceted causes of aggression in children and offers a detailed approach for parents to foster healthier behaviour. Let's take an in-depth look at the causes of childhood aggression. Number one, developmental factors. Toddlers and preschoolers may display aggression due to limited language skills, using physical actions as a means of communication. School-aged children may exhibit aggressive behaviours as they learn to navigate social hierarchies and peer interactions. Number two, environmental and learned behaviours. Children at home with frequent conflicts may mirror these interactions. Parenting styles that are overly harsh or permissive can also contribute. Bullying or peer pressure at school can lead to aggressive responses, either as a defence mechanism or a way to fit in. Number three, emotional triggers and psychological aspects. Difficulty in managing emotions can lead to frustration, resulting in aggressive outbursts. Children who have undergone traumatic events may express their fear and anxiety through aggression. Number four, biological and neurological influences. Hormonal changes, especially during puberty, can heighten emotions and impulsivity, leading to aggressive behaviours. Research indicates that differences in brain development, particularly in areas controlling impulses and emotions, can influence aggression. Here are some advanced strategies for managing and reducing aggression. Number one, enhance parenting techniques. Implement discipline that understands and addresses the emotional needs behind the aggressive behavior. Establishing predictable daily routines can provide a sense of security, reducing anxiety-driven aggression. Number two, developing emotional intelligence. Help your child develop a rich emotional vocabulary to express their feelings. Demonstrate peaceful conflict resolution and problem solving in your interactions. Number three, building a nurturing environment. Use a system of rewards for non-aggressive behavior, emphasizing the value of kindness and empathy. Teach children mindfulness practices to help them regulate their emotions. This really helps. Number four, professional intervention and support. For persistent aggression, behavioural therapy with a child psychologist can be effective. Work with your child's school to ensure they receive the right support, especially if learning difficulties are contributing to frustration and aggression. You see, childhood aggression is a complex issue that requires a nuanced approach. By understanding the diverse causes and employing empathetic, consistent and proactive strategies, parents can effectively guide their children towards healthier emotional expressions. Remember, seeking professional help is a sign of strength, not weakness, and can provide crucial support for both the child and the family. As we wrap up our journey into understanding of childhood aggression, it's clear that this is a multifaceted issue, deeply rooted in a child's development, emotions and environment. Remember, each child is unique, and as parents, our patience, empathy, and willingness to learn and adapt play a crucial role in guiding them through their emotional development. 
If you found value in today's episode and want to join our growing community of proactive parents, hit that like button and share this video with others who might benefit. Every bit of support helps us bring more content like this to you. And we'd love to hear your stories and strategies for managing childhood aggression. Share your experiences in the comments below. Your insights could be a lifeline for someone else in our parenting community. Thank you for watching, keep nurturing, keep understanding, and most importantly, keep supporting each other on this incredible parenting journey. Until next time, stay curious, stay compassionate, and keep on parenting with love and understanding. Take care and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more interesting and informative parental support.